once again, hello everyone and welcome. Um, I'm glad to see you here, even from one to one <laughs> with Marino happened Gabriel against Mira, <laughs> but never mind. Um, thank you for joining and mainly for your interest in API stuff. I'm really pleased. So, what is Gerio APIs? Um, it stands for Application Programming Language, which means the way of uh, possibility how to communicate with an application. And there are many formats used in API communication in general. It can be uh, plain text, it can be XML or JSON we actually use. Uh, we, we choose JSON because it's lightweight, web protocol, uh, it's easy to read and understand. It's a uh, de facto standard in web applications and everyone uses it. Flickr, Facebook, even the same page. Moreover, if you program in, in uh, JavaScript, uh, this is how the data structure looks like. So for programmers, it's really easy to start programming something. And this is exactly what uh, Carrier Workspace um, actually sends between your browser and the server when creating a new page. So in a nutshell, it's a layer between a server and client and all your requests, data, images, from you, your browser, and the target server. Oh, sorry. My, my Support Imperial products. Uh, we officially support only uh, administration API in Carrier Connect, but uh, we have other parts in other products. Uh, unofficially, we use it everywhere we can in the same page, for example. Um, we help people build their applications. Uh, for example, I had yesterday a, a conversation with some, some guy who migrates from uh, Microsoft SharePoint to uh, Aerial Workspace, and he needs to upload a thousand of files and keep the history of each file, which was a challenge. Uh, do it over API, but uh, we are successfully done it. So it's great for us. Um, imagine the API as a layer. Um, for example, if you know WebDoc for uh, your messages, contacts, calendar, um, it's sort of extension above the HTTP protocol. There is no magic behind it. Uh, you don't need to be scary or afraid of, of it. Sample usage is uh, in officially Carrier Connect to creating users, creating new passwords, integration with intranet portals as we use it here in Carrier in some ways. And there are some links you can click on it. You will find it in this presentation, available on workspace. And I guess you probably know it already. There's no problem to uh, to show it right now. There's no time for it. What you need to do before start programming or using the Carrier API in general, uh, you need Carrier Connect, Control Workspace or Operator, uh, some Apache HTTP server, some knowledge of PHP 5 programming, or if you just need to and want to run it, no advanced, uh, advantage knowledge is expected, even JSON knowledge. It's optional, it's uh, advantage for you. Uh, support. Who is the guy behind the support? It's mainly me. And the support is provided under a beta testing program in our forums. And if it's necessary, uh, we can provide such support in an email conversation. If it's necessary for some, uh, let's say, business reason to keep know-how uh, know in integrate in other, other guys. Well, 
let's start with some demo. Uh, question for everyone, do you have uh, your server prepared? Oh. How is it working? Sharing. Yes, yes, because I don't hear anyone, I need to uh, check some response from you. Perfect. Yes, fine, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Jump. <clears throat> I know, yeah, Marino? No, no, it's fine. I think everyone on the chat has said the yes, Anton, Lisa, me, and Karsten, so please go ahead. Okay. I will share my desktop again. And there we go. So I have downloaded um, some bundle for my Mac, which is called Mount. It's a uh, bundle with Apache, PHP, MySQL, and some other libraries. And then I run it, start server. I will see my service running. Now it's empty, so let's go to www.tutorial.com slash developers download blah 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 I agree there we go downloads Video API PHP, which is the archive I download, and I put it to my HD docs, which is um, root of my web server. Close, 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 reload. Sorry. There we go. Here is the bundle downloaded from the. From Wait, where do you put it again? The web. After clicking it. What folder do you put it in? Uh, sorry, once more again, please. Yes, um, you need to put it in, in your um, web application root of your Apache server. Uh, the question is uh, on which here. platform are you? OK. Um, it okay. usually is in slash bar slash www. Is it correct? Sorry, the KU, the KU path, which is it? The uh, development is www.ku.com slash oh. um. developers download. Perfect. If I'm too fast to you, please stop me anytime, okay? Thank you. Sorry, Mira. Do we download because I was full, um, was behind my um, screen? Uh, do we download the API or the administration? Uh, download the Kero APIs library for PHP, which is here. Perfect. Thank you. This is the bundle with uh, the PHP examples. Uh, this is the thing. Mm -hmm. This is the thing uh, you are able to show to your customer and partner. I'm like Lisa, I'm actually using the uh, uh, Linux, uh, so I put in there. It differs only uh, in, in the place where uh, you need to put the, the files in. Uh -huh. Let me know when, you're, when you are ready. Lisa, okay, everything. Okay, 
just few seconds. Sorry. No problem. If there is anything I can help you with, let me know. I'm too far. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, ready, everyone? Yes, so, then, so I'll uh, download this and I'll put it in the var, uh, var slash www, which, uh, so do I need to create the, the directory if it's not there? Um, I will put it to my, to my Linux as well. Just a sec. No, I'm told, okay, where do I put it? Um, in no, var? No, when you extract it, you have so, to extract it and copy the contents yeah, of the extracted yeah. folder back into the www yes. folder. Um. Okay. But there is no www, this is what it's I asked. So in, uh, in the var, uh, do, do I need to create a var uh, one? Uh, so do I need to create www? Oh, okay. Didn't with my okay. <laughs> so I connected to my Linux server and I um, switched to var www. I downloaded the the archive with PHP examples, and now I am going to unzip the Clio API PHP dot zip, which creates everything for okay. you. Now the, the only thing you need to do is open your web browser and navigate to uh, your web server slash carry your API PHP, which is this. Are you everything okay? Uh, my I, PHP is giving me a problem, but you know, please go ahead. I don't, I don't want to stop everyone else to from doing it. You know, I'm 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 not doing uh, that. So just me. try try to share your screen, my, uh, your desktop, and maybe we will see what's going on. Don't forget. I mean, this is. In the learning session, so you know that we're slowing down. No, I was just going to say my current API and PHP Lisa, folder is Lisa empty. Question. Just, just listen to Lisa. Empty, empty. Hang. <laughs> How empty do you mean? Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got it in subfolders. Let me just move the subfolders MTM. properly. <laughs> you can share. You say if you want to create. Now, navigate to if you are working on a Mac. Uh, Mum dot yeah info it's just downloading it's it's a now just this is a website for um, locally personal web server solution which is free of charge you can download it and install it hold on and let me know when you are done hold on I'll just download it yeah. done. You need my credit card credentials? Card. Sorry, uh, Mira, Mira, could you put the... Oh, sorry. I really gone there. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Uh, I really downloaded it. Yeah. It's just going so, through. Didn't get the point. Hold on a second. It's still going through. Um, Mine's working now. Isn't it when we are in this Adobe Connect session that also Lisa, you're show, already uh, okay? Marino could share could share his his uh, his screen. Carsten, was it your question? Isn't it? Yeah, uh, if somebody has a problem, the funny uh, the only good thing about Adobe Connect is, and we are all hosts, 
that everybody could share his own screen if he has problems. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, thank you. It just the main problem I have is just finishing downloading now. Uh, I've gone back to my Mac rather than sticking to the Linux. But uh, I'm just a bit behind, you know, carry on. Otherwise, you know. Yeah, the, it's the just a question Mac of time. Actually, really good. I am using it as well here on my local machine because mm -hmm. I can stop it or run it when I want to. Also, the, all the problems we're finding here today, uh, we can actually organize it. So uh, when the customer has a problem, we can literally replicate it. Here you go, my Mac is a... Okay, my mums now is being installed is installed on my um, Mac rather than on my Linux machine. Yeah, yeah. So I can just go now and download them. Yes, go to go to, go yep, to from Kerala. Kerala. Oh, which is Kerala. Yep. Download. I think download. I download it actually. Yeah. Here we go. Um, and after the download, just yeah. open it. So the PHP has been now, okay. I got it now. Get the, get the folder yeah, and move it to, to applications. Mom. HD doc, HD docs, and put it here. So I need to go in uh, applications. Yeah. Uh, so can you show me again? Go to applications, Mumps, yeah? Mump folder, HD docs folder, and put it here in. You know, I don't have any. Oh yes, got it. Sorry. And yeah. So the HT Docs folder. I think he's already there. Sorry, the sorry. HT Docs folder on a Mac is actually the same like the WW yes. folder on a Linux machine. Exactly. Thank okay. You, Carsten. Yep. <laughs> done. Okay. Done. Okay. Now. Uh, open yep. the map, which is this window, and start the servers. The browser should be opened with some default. The map is, uh, I have it as an um, app. And do you, do you see, yeah, yeah. Do you see something like this? Yeah, got it. It's fine. Hold on. So I'll start the server. Okay, do you see this Perfect. page? Hold on a second. The servers have started. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm on the page. Uh, fine. Now delete the delete URL okay. and type carrier API PHP, and you should see this page, which is the, the file you. You put it in HD Docs. Done. Yes. Perfect. So, so just to be just perfect. So just as an addition, um, if I want to have the carrier uh, API PHP folder at the right at the, at the beginning, 
and not the mump page, I have to define it in mump, which folder it should use when it starts up, correct? Uh, yes. In the preferences, there is no, this is thing. Yeah, you think on my list. Apache. And what about click on Apache. what about the equivalent uh, okay. in Linux? So is start there a config off. file that has to be modified. Perfect. Uh, that would that would be my second question. Well, uh, well <laughs> you you see, uh, if, let me show it. Um, if you put the file directly in HD. Um, HD docs, which is this is the the slide the root of, of the website. So if I move the content to the top level, it means that I don't need to write this because I am already on the root. So on Linux, this is the same. Everyone got it? Ah, okay, or, yeah. So on Linux, it, uh, there, is, there is no need to alter some config file or stuff like this because it's already looking, looking in the root folder and as long as I have yes. all the carrier API stuff in the root yes. folder, yes. everything is perfect. Yeah, you can. Um, okay. You can uh, modify your, your Apache's as well with some additional configuration and make some um, rules to even if you have the, the PHP files in some separate folder, to uh, it should look like this is the root of the of the, of the application. But in general, if you put it in, in the on on Linux, let me open the, the where is my terminal here. If I extract it here so in this place, next. it will appear in in the browser as a root application. Okay. Okay, let's let's continue. Um, there are some some information about what the Cario API library is, um, what you need to ar archive to start it. Um, after the, our session with Carsten, I realized that uh, this is the place I need to rewrite and make it um, much more easier to read and understand because because there are uh, too many technical information, which I believe. It's, it's true, but let's see what what uh, the content is here prepared to you. There is some tutorial where you can see how to start programming, which is not the topic for uh, our this first session. Some example, some examples. Mm -hmm. uh, we will see it later. Sample applications and uh, documentation and some. Uh, Practical tips. Now, please, the first thing you are gonna see is navigate to environment setup. There are some information about PHP configuration, and if you are not sure if your configuration is correct, if you have whatever set it up, click here on sample application, and you. And you should see mm -hmm. this my server's application. Yeah. If you see it, yes. it means your server is able to do any APR request and you are ready to go. Okay. Click on the app server and now you can fill in time. I've still got to edit my PHP any so just give me a second. Dot. Aerial.com. Okay, no problem either. No. Okay. Carsten. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Be nice to a lady. Always. Perfect. As we wait for Lisa, can I just ask you something, Mira? Could we get all these steps put together in um, something like uh, 
a virtual machine ready to go, so people download it, pre-prepared, or uh, a package, I mean, something that would be, I know things uh, from your point yeah. of view, we already yeah. Yeah. discussed Yeah, we talked about, about it, it and I, I mean, Some it's a um, um, great idea. Uh, what I want to do is do it not officially to offer for the uh, direct download on our web website, but I can... I can imagine no, we can we can make uh, some virtual machine for you and you can distribute uh, between your customers and partners. Yeah. Exactly. Even if it's not official, we just say this is something you can play yes. with. This beta is as it is. Like we do with any beta, I think it's much 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 better. Uh, so people can have it's on my to list. start with. The people it's want to list. do more. And, okay. And I think as far as I understood this, my service thing which gives you actually a little bit back your uh, administration console you had uh, before uh, doesn't need any yeah how could I say modification because it can run like it is because you don't need to go in some uh, in some files and add some uh, IPs you just when you just want to use this my service thing you can have a prepackaged thing and you just enter your uh, your servers you want to to monitor and yeah you are done yeah you're right is it, is it um, yeah? only only the other stuff from the API needs um, altering uh, some files yeah. yeah this is this is the okay. normal application where um, instantly after the installation you can play with just uh, with typing the host name username and password no other configuration yeah. You are already and go on. Um, I I I see that Anton has some problems. Anton, what happened? Let's continue in in first. Slowly, so she can still catch up, and we can do um, other stuff. I will talk. Um, yeah. Who is ready? Please type. Uh, connect.demo.carrio.com in, in the host name. Select Carrio yeah. Connect. And the username is yeah. uh, admin demo. With the password read only. Read only. And click add. What should happen is Excellent. your server has been added. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us exactly what's happening? You know what we are doing exactly. Uh, what happened <laughs> is that uh, this application can connect over the APR uh, to to uh, the server. Doesn't matter which one, and asks yeah. for the version running. On, on the on the machine and the operating system you are running on. So if you have um, any other server you have login and password to, yep. right? You can add it. And okay. okay. First question for you, uh, what level of uh, what level of rights do you need to have to run the API? Do you yes. need to be an administrator? So in the case, you, okay. So me, you, uh, you need to be administrator at least um, at the uh, read level. In general, correct? because it's uh, the administration API, uh, you need to you need to um, yeah. some sort of access right, which means read only or full right. So if you if you want to just okay. read some information like a version or operating system, yeah. You you need only the read only right. If you want to manage something, you need to full right. Which is okay. So the good news is, that, for example, some resellers could actually monitor constantly their uh, um, their customer using a read right uh, read only yeah, it, um, yeah, it, uh, <laughs> account. So look, I come there, you know, I keep a monitor, so they can actually use it as some safe. Uh, some safe uh, yes. uh, password. Yeah, exactly. the, the, yeah, exactly. the, yeah. Okay. 
So from a cell perspective, you can say you can have the administrator, which has some level of passwords, and the administrator read only, which is used only for monitoring things, which can be passed maybe even to some exactly. third party as you well. You can try yeah? at control.demo.carrier.com. Select control. Yeah. I mean, Brilliant. demo read only. Mm -hmm. This is public information. You can give this. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the one that we have on the web. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so I'm just downloading WAMP now. So, yeah. So in theory, I can actually access also, for example, our operator. Which, uh, for example, I have access as yes. administrator. Yeah? In default, uh, you, you can click on, on the host name okay. and you should be able to log in. But uh, yeah. I think uh, because of some changes in API, uh, it won't work for uh, connect as of 8. So this shouldn't work mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah, because the API changed. Okay. Yeah, there, there are some changes. I need to fix this application as well. Okay. Uh, Anton, how is it going? I think to build my alarm. <laughs> it's really stupidly. Uh, do you have. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, I just need to fix the permission access level on my Linux, so it's my own problem, so I will fix it later, and I, I'm watching you, your steps, so I think that I, w I can repeat it in the, in the future after yeah. I will fix my issue. Yeah, so I okay. think, yeah, I think the thing uh, that Marino said to prepare some virtual machine that uh, anyone can download and run it in local works uh, another player should be good point to start. You can see we made all the effort to be to go everything to go wrong so oh, we convinced can you. I, can, you. I, That's okay. can I just shortly yeah. can I just shortly interrupt you? Yes. Um, it's even worse uh, uh, Mira when you when you try it within final release of Cario 8. Then you get an uh, a page on um, <laughs> On Firefox, uh, on Firefox, method not implemented. Carry underscore username uh, equal admin. Carry underscore password, and you can read the password in clear text. Well, uh, this is why there is a section in the main. Can you say again? Sorry, uh, uh, can you say again? I, I don't have anything to hide. I can. Sh uh, shall I? Shall I yes, share my, my screen? Yeah, go okay. for it. Hold on yeah. a second. Yeah, because this is one of the first things that people will ask about the passwords, how they get uh, transported. Okay, do you see? Do you see my screen? Yes, I see. Okay. What yeah. I actually did was. Okay. Method not implemented. I have to go back. Hold on a second my servers. And this is my internal machine here. Mm -hmm. You see it's a final build on a CentOS and now I click uh, click on it. Mm -hmm. And what's not nice is that you can see... Sorry, we are not... Nothing is no, refreshed. you can see this is a password in clear text. Yeah, that's right. No, we don't see anything. It's written in Used. some readme file. <laughs> Do you see my web page I've shared or not? Ah, sorry. Now. Do you see it now? Yes. Okay, sorry, yeah. my fault. Um, let's go back. Okay, yeah. my servers. Here you yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. You see it? Okay, then I click here, yeah. and what's even worse, yeah. it shows the password yes. in the text. Yes. Okay. There's some, okay. some bug, yeah. Okay, I stop. Is it a bug or did, uh, was a, a feature? Uh, sorry, was it something that you designed quickly? Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, the password quickly? you are um, using in the application here is saved locally. It's saved locally mm -hmm. to. I'm going to show you. 
So, okay. Uh, my to the machine. Okay. DB. There's a small file database which stores which which stores okay. this okay. kind of information. Okay. And what Carl did is uh, after clicking on on the host name, it tries to connect over HTTP uh, as to the target computer. So even mm -hmm. we can see the password, no one else can see it. Uh, okay. I think uh, uh, Anton uh, looks yeah, okay. Yeah. Lisa, okay. okay. Guys, can you uh, remind me a password for the demo <laughs> carrier <laughs> com? <laughs> Connect demo uh, carrier com. Username. Read only. Uh, username is admin demo. Admin demo. And password is read only. Okay. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Welcome. For some reason, although I've got it installed, I can't connect to the web server. And I'm trying to figure out if this machine has got a control or connect server installed on it. And I don't think it does. Mm -hmm. okay. No. No, really. So we, you know, we are in three sessions. So you know, oh. uh, <laughs> someone changed your name on on operator server. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's continue. What else? Uh, what else you can you can find here? So um, if you navigate back to uh, the of, of the library, you can find. Mm -hmm. Examples section and sample applications. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to okay. uh, make only one section with all these examples and sample application on one place because um, in basic there is no difference between it, and now now it's confusing. What's mm -hmm. different between examples and sample application? Never mind. Okay, we will change in next version of of the library. So uh, click on examples. And as I said, we only yep. support administration API for Career Connect. Never mind. Uh, we prepared some. OK. So can I just ask you, can I just ask you something very uh, specific? So if people are, uh, this is also for support, uh, the API, they are not in beta anymore. They are available for all products, but officially, if people mess about with operator or control, they don't uh, get support. Is it they correct? will get some support, uh, mainly from from me. I will I will help them to archive archive uh, their their goals. Um, the thing um, in we don't support it officially means that we don't have any doc documentation of the API in the control and operator. But OK, it's, thank you. It, it don't. It's good. I mean, it's just, I mean, we want to people get moving, but it's important what, when we say to people, say, look, you know, uh, you are safe on, con on Connect, but on the other two, there will yeah. be less uh, in, in, material support. Yeah, you know what? You can you get know, something. There are some limited. examples and sample yeah. application, and I can show you that the application for Connect operator it works. Uh, mm -hmm. I have uh, on my local machine another application uh, for Carrier Workspace, which uh, do the uh, automatic uh, import of files into file library, which I did uh, with uh, our customer. With, uh, who wants to migrate from oh. SharePoint? So we we can do it. We can Fantastic. provide some sort of support. If you see the the, uh, the forums on uh, CareerCom, there are a lot of posts about APIs in uh, Connect Control Operator yeah. and Workspace as well. 
Don't worry, go ahead with before, but we know um, basically what yeah, what we uh, want to so show the customers. Marino is yeah. always on the run. <laughs> let's jump let, let's jump to uh, section for Clear Connect. And this is this one. And before we click on each example, please jump back to uh, on Mac Mom HDDocs examples. Mm. There is config file and open it. You need to edit. You need to edit some oh, login credentials to get the, the examples working. Okay. So can you say again? Uh, can you slowly go yes. through? So depending on where we are, we need to go in the applications. Now, these just for Mac, HD yeah. Docs examples. There is a file config.php. HD Doc examples. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So people we are not using like Lisa. She will be using the, the Windows and myself after I want to use the Windows. We need to go and find the yeah, HD, exactly. um, HD Docs uh, and. Uh, and within HE docs, we need to go to samples and then yeah. go to config.php. OK, thank so you. So open the file and please edit the login credentials. We can use the uh, connect demo.carrier.com as after use. Admin demo and read only. OK. I think I will root server. So this is. This is the file applications mount htdocs, which which is the the web server itself, yeah. and here examples config php is the is the mm -hmm. library we downloaded from the carrier website. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Can I save it and close? Everyone else done? Yep. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Close. Now Same. let's click in the browser uh, to first get basic server info. It should connect to demo server with the login credentials. Hopefully, yes, there we go. And I see it it works. Perfect. Now yes. now you can okay. navigate through all the, the examples and try do something. Yeah. What won't work is create domain. Fantastic. Admin. Yeah, because you need to be uh, administrator. Exactly. Uh, with, with, the, the, with the right. Some, some error that you don't have the, the correct permission. Yeah, exactly. But if you but if you config, configure it okay. against your local Carrier Connect server with admin rights, it will work. Okay. So this page, uh, this is a file that you show us. Uh, we need to change it depending on where we want to point yeah, exactly. the examples to. Yeah. So say for example, Lisa wants to do it uh, to check her own uh, the, the machine local here. She can just point it with the, the wrong, uh, with the wrong password yeah, exactly. uh, to that server. Yeah. The thing is, uh, and, that and again, okay. Yeah, Carsten. Go ahead. The yeah, the thing is, and again, what what is what is very important to know, you don't need to install this stuff on your Connect workspace or whatever server itself. Yes, you can exactly. connect it on yes. any machine you want. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The thing is that um, I got the correct feedback from you guys because, as we see, it's not as simple as I imagined. To configure the Apache or PHP support. So the virtual machine for this demo purposes would be would be great. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Thank you. I mean, it's more, I mean, it's, I think it was very good experience for us to understand that. So, you know, uh, we know what, you know, you know what? Um, actually, we are done today because you downloaded 
you get it working, you, uh, you configure the config file, and now you can run the examples directly on a customer's computer. You, you, can, you can get a message queue that should be empty on, on the target server. Maybe not. No. There is message queue, and that's the situation. Is it everything? Is it everything working? Yeah. Why my email with salaries wasn't sent? I see the page directly from my local machine. I don't need to log into to the server. I can get mailing with members. Mm -hmm. It's really good if you're managing more than one server. So I see that on uh, yeah. connectdemo.carrier.com are two domains with one mailing list and its members. I can get users who reach each to quota. I can list all users with any administrator right. And this is very, very valuable for people uh, using an SAAS license. Yes. For example, we had just we had absolutely, uh, absolutely. Asked, um, Okay, I want to sell SAAS, but how could I uh, see the quotas of everybody? Because I don't have any chance to to put quotas per domain. Yeah, I can. So I said to him, yeah, can, install you I can the API and domain you can just check it. I can instantly yeah. from and you, this page see yeah. the domain, Correct. as you said, exactly. I see domain, yes? Sorry, 